Hey Queens and Kings, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Wait, this is my first video, so everyone's new here, so I'm gonna run that back. Hey Queens and Kings, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be sharing different aspects of my life but one of the main purposes of this channel is to document my journey and experiences buying Black. So this is my first video of many to come on something that I've always been so passionate about. So I'll run down the reasons to my why and hopefully you'll be inspired by one or some. Reason number one because we need to get away from this whole, this is why I don't support black owned businesses narrative. I had to put this one out there first because I'm so tired of hearing this statement. It's a running joke that McDonald's ice cream machine is always broken, but let that happen to a black owned business one time and they would be dragged, canceled, and then you guys will be saying those words I don't like to say. We have to admit, we hold black owned businesses to a higher level of scrutiny and it's simply unfair that they have to fight so many challenges outside of our community. And then we make it even harder with this negative and untrue stereotype. We have to get away from that way of thinking. And most importantly, if there are any issues, just like any other business, we have to support them in order to tell them what they need to fix. Reason number two, because I love black owned restaurants, especially depending on the area you live in, there's so many of them. The food that's served is top tier nine times out of 10. Who else is gonna season our plates to perfection and make sure our meats and greens are cleaned the same way that we do? I literally tell everyone that wants to try a vegan meal to do it at a black owned restaurant. I promise you, it will change your perspective on what you think vegan food tastes like. Even when you go to the hot and popular non-black establishments, who's usually in the kitchen? Who's usually the host and the DJ? What kind of music are they playing? They are catering to us by trying to sell us the black experience without benefiting the black community. Now, I do wish that we would branch out a little bit more outside of the typical Caribbean, African, and soul food restaurants, because I know that if we try other types of cuisine, we would kill it. But I'm optimistic that there are places out there like that, and that more will come if we let them know that it's gonna be supported. Reason number three, because black women are the largest growing group of entrepreneurs. And that's a statistic that I love to hear. Just like my shirt says, when my sister wins, we all win. These words really ring true to me, like to my core, because whenever I see a black queen getting that degree, starting a business, or even just walking down the street and her goddess energy, I live for it and I am rooting for her. It's a special feeling seeing a black woman owned business win and succeed despite all the odds and challenges that are thrown up against us. And who else is gonna support you like a black woman? Exactly. Reason number four, because the systems in place are not designed to make it easy for us to succeed. Despite that statistic and us being in the forefront of startups, it is very difficult for us to get funding. The money that's allocated for small businesses through grants, loans, and other means are not going to us. And lack of financial means is one of the top reasons why any business doesn't survive. Most black owned businesses are relying solely on their savings, crowdfunding and money from their sales. So if I can help a black owned business stay in business with my purchase, I'll do it gladly. Reason number five, because throwing money at black owned businesses is my form of protest. It's really unfortunate to say, 
but sometimes it feels like the one thing we can really count on is that every few weeks there's going to be an injustice towards our people and i know the helpless feeling of not knowing what to do or what would be effective there's people who march in the streets sign petitions donate money and you can do a combination of all of those things as for me i feel power in spending money with black owned businesses during those times <laughs> i make it rain on them like i'm talking hundreds thousands like i spend money whenever i'm mad <laughs> in my opinion they don't hear us because we're not talking their language which is capitalism and unfortunately, boycotting something for a day, a week, a month really isn't effective. It needs to be something long-term and lasting, which is why I am making this commitment. Reason number six, because I am tired of the fake support. I absolutely hated this feeling of this revelation that Black people all of a sudden existed. While on one hand, I do love and appreciate seeing more melanin in the media and marketing, a lot of these companies use black images for their image. It looks good on their end and it's convenient for them at that particular moment. But even I've noticed that some of those companies that were heavy on the inclusivity back in summer 2020, have now gone back to their regular schedule of programming. I'd rather spend my money with a black owned business who knows that black people exist and regularly celebrates them. Not just a company who only gives a f when tensions are high and the world is watching. Reason number seven, because black people create and shift the culture. Imagine if we made buying black trendy. <laughs> as much as I hate that word, we're literally the blueprint for creating trending sounds, dances, hairstyles, literally any category. We are the originators and the amplifiers. Just imagine if we were all on the same page. We give so much free exposure to these other brands, whether it's something as inexpensive as a Popeye's chicken sandwich or something as expensive as a Birkin bag. We go crazy and make these brands go viral when all that attention should be on black owned businesses. We need to stop making these non-black owned brands richer. Reason number eight, because I want to shift the focus to buying black. I absolutely love that there are more pages, blogs, articles, features, all of that surrounding black owned businesses. However, that's just a start. Don't get me wrong. We do need to amplify these businesses to give them exposure and also engaging with them by liking, commenting, subscribing. Speaking of, have you liked, comment, subscribe, followed all of that, my content? Go ahead and do that. Now, thanks. But seriously, you have to take the next and necessary step of putting your money where your mouth is. And then when you do buy from them and you have a positive experience, share it. So that way they can get their next customer and continue to grow and scale. That's where our collective buying power will come through. That's when we'll have real economic empowerment. Reason number nine, because I have this idea in my head of this black owned lifestyle that I just want to live out. Try to follow me. Like, I want to wake up in my bed in my black designer sheets and look at the black art on the wall of my bedroom. Then make my way to the bathroom and do my morning routine with black owned products head to the kitchen and boil some water from my black owned tea that I'm gonna drink from my black owned mug. Then get dressed in my black designer clothes, shoes and bag, style my hair with black owned products, and then head out to a black owned brunch spot. 
Maybe on the way back, I stop in a black owned boutique to buy some clothes or maybe even a black owned bookstore to get my next read. Once dinner rolls around, I cook on my black owned cookware. I set it on my black owned dinnerware and I pair it with a glass of black owned wine or liquor, depending on the vibe for the night. I know, <laughs> that sounds extra, but I know it's possible to have the majority of my purchases be from Black brands. Reason number 10, because I want to inspire and influence others to do the same. Now, I'm not saying you completely change your lifestyle, nor am I going to shame anyone who doesn't care to buy Black. But maybe I can help someone be a bit more mindful or intentional or maybe just put them onto a new black owned brand. I've already done that plenty of times. This is just a new level. Plus I know that there are other buy black influencers out there. And I just wanna find my people who are on this journey or want to join. It's also my hope that when things get rough and I get tired, that I come back and watch this video and I'm reminded and reignited to keep on going. Doing this means I'm going to be making sacrifices. There's no way to sugarcoat that. I know it's going to take patience. I'm going to lose certain conveniences, but I am determined. So there goes my reasons and here goes my documented journey. Comment below and tell me which reason resonated with you the most. Or you can even share one of your personal reasons why you support Black-owned businesses. If you have any recommendations of businesses I should try, places I should go, please reach out to me. Leave me a comment, tag me in a post, do whatever you gotta do. I wanna find the best black brands and the people who love supporting them. And speaking of support, which is free, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, repost, tag, shout out, all of that all of my content and pages, I would really appreciate it. I'm really happy for you to join me on this journey. So until next time.